doing the same as you yeah. did to me. I live here. I know that. He lives here, but he doesn't drive like he lives here. Drive like your kids live here, dude. What are you doing? Oh, what a douchebag. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Check us out, man. We got a new toy for the home gym. That's not gonna encompass today's vlog, but uh, Devin just found us this beauty. We've been looking for one for a while. If you've been following the channel, you know we've been on the hunt for an Echo Bike by Rogue, and we found one for a great price. Most people are pretty much charging whatever they want during the pandemic because all this gym equipment is sold out, dudes. It's sold out. And she found one on Craigslist, which I think was the ticket because on Facebook Marketplace, these things go like the second they're posted, they have offers. It's ridiculous. So anyways, new toy for the home gym. We're gonna get this thing home. We're gonna utilize this thing in a lot of workouts and have some fun with it, but there's more in store for you guys on today's video. Let's get into it. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little taste of death right there, but this one's pretty cool because uh, it's got a couple of the accessories. It's got this wind guard, so it's not gonna be throwing up the wind, but that's kind of nice sometimes whenever you're just going crazy. And then it's also got the phone holder. Cause what are you gonna do without bike. your phone, right? <laughs> Oh, bike. And this has been the in-house tailgate review. It's saying that I have a linked account with Robert Kirkland, but I don't have a linked account with Robert Kirkland. Try this. Go to go to settings and Instagram. Rob's trying to promote some posts over here. <laughs> Linking your Facebook account to your Instagram is like the hardest thing ever to do, but once you get it done, you can promote posts and you're all good. So just know that it's a little bit of trial and error. Um, basically, these things have been sold out on Rogue's website for like four months. Really, the price we picked this up for, the only other one in Texas right now available is priced at $400 more and it's probably already sold. The things are like nearly impossible to find and purchase. With that being said, we're gonna get a bunch of workouts in on this thing, but now we've got to actually run over and get the truck taken care of. We bought it with like 8,000 miles and she's now approaching 75K and we're changing the transmission fluid. We're also getting the coolant taken care of and then we're gonna get some new brake pads because they're running low and we've been towing more. So we definitely want to make sure that our rotors are not getting screwed because we neglect to change our pads. Let's go ahead and get over to the shop. Also, we really haven't used this much. Um, I just need more advice on where to go to get some carp and gar. See you for 24 hours by Tentra. Like a glove. We can still use our garage and park cars. We can still use the garage and park cars. That's a good sign. I mean, remember when we had two full size bikes and two like mini bikes and two cars? We had there? four bikes in here. Yeah, we had two Groms, two Ducatis, and we had an STI in a Camaro back in the day when we were riding motorcycles and doing the moto vlogs. What's that? Dogs are outside. I am working on today's edit. Devin is making lunch. And we're gonna get to some fishing here in a little bit. Lunch ready. All right, baby, have a good night at work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go fishing. I get to go fishing. I'm gonna go work. Well, go make all the money. <laughs> Since <laughs> I can't, because I don't have a job right now. Alright, I'm off to work. Bye, guys. Woo -wee. We are gonna have to mow later today. Look at that. Okay, Zeke, it's just us. Lunch was delicious. I think we're gonna go hit a 4 30 p.m. CrossFit class. It is now 30 minutes till. What's funny is it's deadlifts and bike, which we could do with the Echo bike we bought today and we've got some barbell stuff, but we're gonna go over there, have some fun and take the class with everybody at CrossFit Slake. Uh, I put this hoodie on because I was editing today's video. It's now 4 p.m. and 92 degrees out, so this is probably coming off. We just keep it cool in the casa. And just like that, y'all, we are on our way to the gym and a long line of traffic. Yeet! We're here, let's go have at it.
That was brutal. Time to chill. There you go, fish. All right, quick little bite to eat after the workout. Change of clothes, and we are on our way to the ponds, man. I got some place in mind. It is 7:11 at the moment. New video just went live at 6:30. I'm gonna keep hounding this, man. I'm trying to drop these vids every day now at 6:30 p.m. It might not always work out. That's the goal. Let's go ahead and get over here and catch some fish. All right, man. We finally get to do some fishing today. <laughs> Let's have at it. I think I'm gonna cover some water real quick. Throw around the lipless crank that I was having some success on the other day. There's two ponds right here. So I got options, and uh, if this don't pan out, I'm probably gonna go to a little Texas rig. Just throw something a little different. We're gonna hit some top water tonight if we can. Let's get right into it. Nothing at that first pond. I'm gonna break out the old Nico rig at this one, I think. See what's up. Well, I don't know. I'm not really feeling these two. I think I might move down the street already. spot number two and I'm liking what I'm seeing I think the water is higher at the pond over to the right and so it's flowing in here more rapidly than normal so there's an inflow which the fish are gonna most likely like I'm thinking this right here could be pretty good at this zone we'll, we'll see what happens I'm gonna toss out that new creature bait t-rigged we got one you had it for a minute that was oh my gosh Whew. well chill out now first one of the night Think to get us started. We'll see ya. Oh, or maybe we won't. He wants to hang out with us, I guess. Well then go. <laughs> Gee whiz. Ah, there we go. If you guys have never seen this bait, it's because it's not quite out yet, so you would have only seen it in yesterday's video. The hook sits inside this uh, recession there in the body, but it's easy for the fish to get hooked, so it's perfect when you're fishing a bunch of structure. I'm uh, working this thing through rocks right now, some grass. And I haven't got stuck yet, but I have got a fish, so that's a good sign. All right, there's number two. That did not take long at all. All right, I think we're getting on to him. Ah, fish number two. What is going on tonight? Okay, well, you gonna make it? You gonna do what your buddy did? You got it? There he goes. Backflip on out. What's funny is the first time we were here, Adele caught a four pounder. And you guys are seeing nothing but sub one pounders at the moment. So, where are they at? Where'd they be? That's fish number three. Another little one, man. The little guys are loving this creature bait. I don't know what is going on or where the big papas are. Number three, let's go. At least we are on the fish. Oh, we've got a fish. I didn't even set the hook. Oh my goodness. Fish number four. Then you got some sharp teeth too. See ya. Okay, I tell you what, they are just digging the creature bait. Sanko is not doing it this evening. All right, well, real quick, man, a shout out to Catchco. Y'all make a bait that the bass really want to bite. We're going to go for something bigger. I think we're going to uh, actually fish the pond on this side now. See if we can attract something a little bit larger. It lasted four fish. Things are doing uh, some serious work. Let's go ahead and just, I'm just going to take this whole box with me. All right, boys, fresh out of the package get the second one rigged up you can rig this to where any side is the top by the way there's actually an indention for your hook on any side of this so if you wanted to rig it to where a flat side is up or the uh, lighter color is up uh, anything goes with this bait right here pretty cool and it's actually flush mounted for stuff like your bullet weights on your Texas rig so let me drop this down look at how clean that looks with a quarter ounce food tungsten weight right there perfection man and you know they catch fish let's go ahead and cast out this little bit of a bird's nest I just got playing around with my reel all right, cool. Nice and clean. All right, let's see what they're up to over here. Gotta say, this is exactly where you'd expect to catch a fish. And we got them. There we go. Okay, I'm like a little bit of current right here. This is just like, got to be the zone. I knew it was worth a walk around the pond. All right then, buddy. Thank you so much. See you, little man. Two youngsters doubled up over there on the other side of this place. They've been uh, I just caught one right there by the little rocks in the waterfall and I caught I caught four in the other pond tonight But they were all small too. Yeah. I've caught a good one in that one over there though There we go Little guy fish number five or six on the yodo worm tonight though I cannot seem to get into any size tonight, but that's all right Getting confidence in the new bait is what it's all about man 
see you. Let's get back in the game. I kind of thought that was a big one, but oh well. Did that same guy come over and tell you to leave? Yeah, I saw him recording you guys over here, I think, yeah. after he recorded me. Yep. Yeah, or before or whatever, yeah. but. <laughs> well, good luck, man. All right, thank you. I'll see you guys. Yeah. Chef just got here. He just uh, got his first fish as a catfish. <laughs> All right, after seeing the homies catching on the baby bull shad in that shad color, I gotta bust out the clutch, see if I can't get some big to end the night. I was gonna say, I need pliers, but I know Chef's got some. Should I just grab mine? Probably should. Hmm. Oh, golly. I was about to say, it seems as though the bite has died down and the one hits right by my feet. There we go. All right, got one finally. It took a minute. You know what's funny is this is probably the biggest fish of the night despite the fact that it's only like a pound and it might be the last one of the night. I'm gonna keep casting here for a minute. Chef's on the other side. I caught uh, seven or eight so far, but they've all been small. Yeah. I am, yeah. I'm just doing the same as yeah. you did to me. You have a good night. Yep, you too. Thank you. I live here. He lives here, but he doesn't drive safe. That's for dang sure. He lives here, but he doesn't drive like he lives here. Drive like your kids live here, dude. What are you doing? Oh my god, what a I mean, I mean, what a friendly citizen.